welcome to this channel so in this video i'm just going to be doing a little tutorial on how to redirect user to a non-secure um, route for instance the login uh, route when the user logs out from a tab you know typically like um, in most of the apps we use when the user logs out um, other pages still remain in the old state so you might want in some situation in some situations you might want to like redirect the user to for example the login page so this is an example i have on my screen so you see all these tabs are like authenticated this these are like authenticated to the home page and when i log out from a tab um, notice this token this token where i said the fake token when i log out it clears the token and not only that it redirects all other tabs to the login page and this is something you might need for your app so without wasting so much time let's just dive right into this so here i have my um setup which was created with create react app i have typescript react and sas um so i'm just gonna show you real quick i have the app component and here we have the routes which like contains all the routes here which are with all the components and here you can see i have the login page routed to this i have the home page routed to this and any other stuff any other routes uh, will be here the this tag this other tag will i mean this h1 tag will be rendered in that case um so that's it and to the login page we can see quickly right here we have the login page and nothing much we just have the login button and my login page and we have here we have my beautiful home page and my logout button also and the button is just um, a little button and with some styling and that's all and this this is it so nothing much and also for the private route is just basically um, a custom implementation to secure the route so this year we're going to be changing this we're not going to be at coding this anymore um, so when this is true it's going to render our component otherwise it's going to redirect the user to the login page and we also pass in the state so basically we are extending the route props so we can get the other properties of routes which we spread here and if i over over this you see we get properties like rest i mean we get properties like location um, render and whatnot and most importantly uh, i'm interested in the path um, prop and also exact those two basically so that's it now let's dive right into it so the first thing we want to do when you're having this kind of authentication you might have like you know, you might be using redux mobex or even the context api and you might have your auth um, authentication store uh, something where you have your actions uh, in your for example authentication store in redux you might be handling um, authentication in actions in, in in redux too so here since we're not having any kind of like real authentication i'm just trying to show the redirect like redirecting user to the login page then i'll just create i'll create some utility functions so let's create a folder called utils so here we are interested in okay basically i'll just call this auth authentication .tx. so real quick i'm just gonna create some utility function like login and login so login really we're not like returning anything at least for now and what do we want to do in login we want to set let's just set the token and this we call fake token right so what else do we want to do when the user logs in we want to redirect the user to the login page and we're going to be doing that with the history object 
with the method on push so we are pushing to the login page i mean to the home page rather so that's i guess that and we need to get the history as an argument from this and we need to pass a type here too so that's a type of it and for what else for login let's actually before login let's implement this check is auth so if the user is uh, authenticated we want to check that and this is just gonna be this is gonna return a boolean um what do we want to check so we want to get the item in the local storage so we want to get the token i want to make sure that the token is equals to like fake token so this is not like a real implementation and we're gonna return this now okay so this checks if the user is authenticated now we can actually go into this place so instead of just add coding first in here we're just gonna put check is authenticated so this is just gonna be checking if the user is authenticated and so we want to implement the logout function and the logout function is just basically the logout function is just basically going to clear our local storage and redirect our user to the login page so actually i could use the window objects location href and just change that to the window location origin so this would be like the domain the base url well, in our case it's going to be like local host um, i guess 3002 and we are going to like concatenate um, login to this so this redirects um, the user to the login page clears the token and redirects the login page and that's it so if we go to the components for instance let's go to the login page first we want to say like on click when the user clicks the button we just basically want to use the login function from the utility and yeah we, are, we need to pass the history object so the history object is coming from react router actually this should be react router dom it's coming from react router dom and we are using the io other component with, with router which provides the prop history it's, we also have like location if you need that we have match but in this case we just need history and this is from react router dom from this and we're extending the route component props to get the properties yeah and so this redirects the user to the home page and we go to the log to the home page and also do something similar but here we're doing what uh, here we're just logging out the user i guess that should be okay so when we log in it should redirect the user to the home page and when we log out it should redirect the user to the login page but one thing you notice when you log in here if we go to another another tab when you refresh it's not going to do anything so to sort that out let's just do something real quick we're going to create a custom hook and that's let's create a custom um, hooks folder and yeah we're going to create something like use login and that's the name of the custom hook so basically what we want to do here is like just use effects so when the component mounts let's import this also import use effect so when the components mounts here we want to call the login function and mind you we need to check if the user is authenticated and if the user is authenticated call the login function and we need the history object which we're going to be receiving here as an argument so history and again when the component updates let's do the same so check if user is authenticated and if user is authenticated you want to call the login function and pass the history object again okay yeah there was a mistake there so when um 
the component mounts we want to check if the user is authenticated and we want to log in if it if the user is authenticated so if this is true this is going to execute otherwise it's not going to execute we're doing the same thing if the component um, updates so here what do we want to do we want to use the hook here in our login page so use login and we need to pass the history object as a as an argument also in our home page we want to do the same thing so use login and pass the history object so when we go back and let's refresh this so if i log in here once i refresh from other tab it should redirect to the login page now that we have the lifecycle hook in the login page and also the home page and now it should persist the state the authentication okay so now let's go into the thing we are really interested in now that we have that we have those in place so one thing we're going to be using we're going to be using the broadcast channel and broadcast channel actually has a native implementation so can i use you see it as like 75 percent uh, support and that's why i'm using this uh library it has like similar implementation communicating between different um, browsing contexts in our case we want to communicate between different tabs and you see it works with old browsers new browsers web workers and node.js so we're going to be using that so uh, how it works is so how it works is we need to import that i already installed it so next we want to import the broadcast channel Broad, broadcast channel from broadcast channel and then we want to in, we want to instantiate the object and let's call this logout channel um let's just broadcast channel new broadcast channel and let's call that logout so what you want to do here is when the user logs out you want to like communicate to other tab and you can just call the logout call the ob um the object and we have this method on the instance and we just call that post message so this communicates to other tabs right and if you want to pass in some kind of like objects you know you can let's create an interface here let's say the message you want to pass and let's call this logout message and this will be string and this let's make this type of um broadcast channel and let's pass in the message interface so now this is going to complain because it expects the logout message so you can pass in an object here let's say uh, the object is gonna have um, it's gonna have this property logout message and let's say the logout message is all I am logged out. I am logged out. So that's what you want to do. Next up, we we want to create the event that actually list, we want to create an event that listens to this message, and let's call that log out all tabs events listener so this listens to the message which is being communicated by this post message right and what we want to do there is we want to say the logout channel which we instantiated earlier we want to listen to this here and this takes the event with this event we can get this object which we passed in earlier you see log out message but what we want what we're interested in doing here is just to log out so we call the log out method which we have here and we also want to close 
we also want to close that this is really important you need to close the connection and let's say you want to console log the event dot logout message this is not really important for this use case so now we have this once you're done with that you want to come to your parent component here in this case let's use the we can use the app component since other routes now other components are nested in in this um component so we want to say when component mount right just call the method logout or tab event listener so now when you log out on the tab clicking in the logout button all of that all other tabs are going to listen to this event okay now so let's check if our implementation works if we go here you can see we have the fake token set so let's refresh other tabs let's make sure other tabs are in the login page um, let's refresh so all tabs are authenticated now and let's try this you see we have the fake token here and if i log out here notice all the tabs notice the the token has been cleared and other tabs are also redirected to the login page and this is something you might need for your app you know it depends on the user experience you want considerations related to security and stuff because when you don't redirect other tabs then you might see have some kind of like mm, sensitive information still laying out there but when you log out it logs out other tabs and when you refresh or try to go back you're redirected so and this is something you might want um, so you check the link in the description below i'll be posting this um, on my github and again thanks a lot for watching um, remember to subscribe and share and i'll be bringing in more videos i'm also looking to bring out a video where you can use like the local storage to take to take care of the issue so you store an event you create a storage event and do some kind of um, stuff with that but the problem with that is if a user clears the local storage then and clicks the button it's not going to affect others so um, that's why i prefer to use this